It's the Rock Man back at it again with them deadlifts. Been a while since I uploaded a training log with this as the primary lift, but I've been at it again for a few weeks and nothing really noteworthy except three triples I did last week with 500 pounds, but I wasn't able to get in my groove. I even tried breaking down and warming up again, but my sequencing was just way off. I had to basically set up with my hips higher and stiff leg them, which is a legitimate way to pull, but I just lose so much power off the ground that way. I knew I didn't want to pull a heavy single like that. And by the third set, third rep of the third set, clearing my knee was a bitch beltless. So I wish I had them on film, but I, they got lost to some kind of corruption. This week, everything was really clicking. I was getting my leg drive. The sequencing felt great. My positioning was really reinforced. And uh, 505 would be where it would break down if it was going to happen. It felt a little slow, but man, that don't look slow. Uh, position looks good. Bar speed's nice and consistent. So I threw 545 on me. And I was really confident that I had this one in me. It took me a minute to set up, though. Uh, and I don't really know why, but... Glad that I did take my time with it. Positioning looks good. Bar speed's nice and consistent. No real sticking point. And that's what I want to see when I push for those heavier ones. Uh, sequencing felt good. I knew that I had a another one of those in me. So why the hell not throw the fibers on it and match my squat? That'll put me within 15 pounds of where Dylan says he's at. And uh, hopefully I can get a decent max out here in the next few weeks. This is just a heavy single. I'm not trying to push for a max. I feel like today I could have got 570 if I would have gone straight there from 545, but it ain't 585. And I don't really feel like I could have got 585 without getting crazy grindy. So, eh, better off to train a little bit more. Whew. I would have liked that to go faster, but shit, I can't really complain too much. I maintain position. Bar speed was consistent. It's about three seconds to complete that repetition, which is not incredibly grindy. Uh, so I'm happy with it, man. Uh, happy with the way these are going. Really happy with the way that I was feeling today with my sequencing and everything. All of my activation was happening in the right spots. You know, I wasn't feeling any fatigue in my lower back. Uh, none of that shit. No pains in my knees. Although, I will say I need to bring some baby powder with me because uh, during the summer, and it was really hot in there, sweat was making the bar uh, pretty slippery, but then now it's catching on my knee and ripping my thighs up uh, because it's colder in the gym. So, uh, it's just a side note. I Instead of doing... Romanian deadlifts. I had a stinger in my left elbow from doing a bunch of axle, explosive axle work yesterday on the rows. So I decided to strap up and see what 405 felt like for some reps. I did not expect it to groove so well. It felt so damn good. And the tempo was just locked in. So I, I didn't want to stop on it. I just went for that rep PR. And just once they started slowing down and my upper back felt like it was reaching that point of fatigue. I didn't want to push past. I cut it because I feel like I had 18, but 20 would have been dicey on that shoulder that I had that pop in a couple months ago. So just take it easy. You know, who cares about a fucking rep PR on the deadlift? But that was fun, man. Uh, had a really good training day with it today. These are the squats I've been doing three times a week. It's just conditioning work. I mean... 225 plus two blue bands that are choked off on either side. I think it's 250 at the bottom and 325 to 335 at the top. I, I don't know. I would have to measure it, but it's just to reinforce my position in the bottom, uh, work on my flexibility, get that blood moving, etc. I'm leaving these in here because I need a little bit of extra time to talk. I got a rant here for you. So let me cue it up. There's this Stephen H. kid that's been blowing up my comments section on that squat progression video over a remark I made on creatine. Well, I got a question for you, playa. 
if it's so goddamn effective, how come there's not one regulatory athletic commission on the planet testing for it as a controlled substance, performance-enhancing substance? The NFL doesn't give a shit about it. The Olympics don't care about it, and they don't allow blood doping. They don't allow you to sleep in a hyperbaric chamber at night. You can't hyperventilate oxygen before a race. They don't give a shit about it. The UFC doesn't test for creatine. It's not like it's hard to test it for in the urine or the blood. And there's not a pre-workout on the shelf, barely, that won't make you fail a UFC drug test. But they don't give a shit about creatine. Why is that? If it's so effective. So it elevates your creatine levels in your blood. We know that for a fact. If that's not a clear indicator that it's putting some stress on your kidneys, I don't know what is. So, I'm tired of uh, hearing about the shit, you know? And it's been a joke for over 20 years. Maybe some of you guys are as old as me. You remember when Celtec had so much sugar in it that it would burn the lining out of your esophagus to drink the crap. And they were positive that the carrier system for it was spiking your insulin levels so you get the maximum absorption of creatine, the precious creatine into your muscle fibers. It's bullshit. It's always been bullshit. So that's all I got. Uh, keep training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.